December 14th, and we haven't had a serious snowstorm yet, but it is now getting colder. And I have brought in several colonies, not because I had to, but because I can. See? It's so simple and easy. And what happens is if you leave them out in the cold and they finish up all the honey in the area they're at and it's too cold for them to move to another area of the hive, they will starve. I've had colonies starve even though they had honey in the hive. This colony here, when I downsized all these other colonies, I tried smoking this colony out of this deep and they just would not budge. This deep is almost empty. It's very, very light. This was the bottom deep. So rather than leave it down there, I put it on top and I'm hoping they would go down to here and I know when the bees go down I'll be able to see them see there's no bees here they need to go down I can try smoking them again but they have refused to move and I could assume that they would move down when they run out of honey but that would may not work so what would happen is see there's an inner cover here they have to go through that hole in the inner cover to get down to the super here. The super's full of honey. But they could actually starve right here. And when you see a colony that's starved and you take the frames out, they will fill all the empty cells in those frames. See, they waste time and energy being in a certain location when they should actually slowly move down like that but they don't but this right here was on the bottom they should have moved up but because I don't want a full-size hive I want to strap them when they have a deep and a medium I wanted to remove this because it's empty but they wouldn't move down so maybe I could try smoking them again. who knows but anyway if I leave it like this and do nothing they could actually starve during the middle of the winter that's why I check them every day to see what they're doing. I check all of them just to see how they're doing. See, there's no bees up here. Here's the sugar that I stuck in here recently. They've been eating a lot of sugar. I don't have my light with me, but what I do see, there's a bee. I know they're okay. I'm going to buy some more straps. I just ran out of straps. And I've been through polar vortexes. I know what it's like to have colonies during very cold winters where they have like three or four months where they can't get out of the hive. And I will just strap them and bring them in. And then the question is, I don't know the answer to this. If you move a colony, how long, If you and you put it back, how long does it take before they forget where they were? Or do I have to put them back exactly where they were? Like during the summer, if you move a colony, the bees will go back to the old location, but during the winter, if you if you brought them inside for two months, three months, or whatever, and then you took them back out and just put them anywhere, would they automatically know it's a different location and come back to that hive, or would they go back to their other places they were originally? I don't know that answer. And then I want to make a comment. You know, I'm, I make a lot of political comments, and you may think, politics has nothing to do with beekeeping. You know, that's complete bullshit. Two years ago, or a year and a half ago, I had bees over here. It was May. There was a crop farmer 150 yards south of me on a windy day planting corn spraying neonicotinoids. The wind was blowing from the south. It blew right into my hives. My bees were dying. I called that farmer because I knew him and I talked to his family, told him what was happening. He never showed up to apologize. So the next day I called the state of Michigan. They came out and they took samples of my bees. And a month later they told me, yes, your bees tested positive for neonicotinoids. And a month after that, they told me the farmer did nothing wrong. No, that's bullshit. What the hell is wrong with this country? That I should have chemicals on my property. This is my property here. These are my bees. Why is it okay for the farmer 150 yards south of me spraying chemicals to be killing my bees? And the government says it's okay. So this is how politics affects beekeeping. It's bullshit because the chemical companies and the 
ag industry have so much political clout with lobbyists in the Washington, D.C. Beekeepers don't have any lobbyists. There's not enough lobbyists. Honey is not that big a deal. So yes, politics does affect beekeeping. You may not believe it, but it does. That's why I make a lot of comments in my videos about the government. You guys have to realize the government is not working for you. They're working for the corporations. This bullshit between Trump and Biden, they're both puppets of the same corporations. We don't have political parties that re represent people. We have political parties that are nothing but a puppet show. My God, wake up. And all these people supporting Trump, Trump was never trying to make America great. No, he was just trying to bullshit you. Man, this country has been going downhill for the last 30 years, ever since Reagan. And there's going to be nothing left. My children are having a hard time. They're almost 30. They're having a hard time. Every generation is having a more difficult time since the baby boomers. And what else can I say? Wake up. All right? Thank you.